there is a common story that people sometimes talk about. The story of a frog that is sitting in a vessel of water, a container of water. And the container is sitting on fire. So as the temperature of the water is going up, the frog is adapting. The water temperature keeps going up and the frog still adapts until it gets to the point where the water is boiling and the, the frog actually dies. Because of boiling water, it dies. The idea is that if the frog adapted to the point that it didn't even think of jumping from the hot water or saving itself. Why? Because it took the, adapt the concept of adaptation too far. And that's what I want to talk about. There is a misconception about what adaptation means. It is generally known that adaptation means you get used to a change in your environment. Now, that's fine and that's partially true, but there is a danger in that. The danger in that is that because of the way we understand adaptation, we justify it to ourselves that we get used to unnecessary chaos, unnecessary mess, and we remain passive about it. All what we're doing, we're just adapting. And the situation is, is getting worse and worse and worse, and we keep adapting. And we think that this is a virtue. And we, you know, we use the phrase adapt or die, and adaptation is you know, a sign of intelligence. Adaptation should mean how do we position ourselves in a changing environment so that we stay on a growth mode so that we keep improving, so that we keep our journey of making our life better. The alternative to that is gradual suicide. Remember what happened to the frog. Its misconception of the word adaptation led to its suicide. And we shouldn't be there because leadership is about living, it's about survival, and most importantly, it is also about growth. Mm -hmm.